Hi guys, welcome back. I am really looking forward to today's video because I've had this uncontrollable urge to buy everything show jumping related for my horse, but I've held back because I wanted to kind of do it together and show you guys as well. Um, and the day is finally here. So we're gonna be going on to one of my sponsors' websites, Cavalio. They're a huge uh, international retailer. They do everything online. Um, and they stock literally all of the best brands. So we're gonna be going through and picking out, let me just tell you firstly, there is no budget here. We don't work with budgets around here. So anything we like, we're gonna add to the cart because Chase deserves the best. So I know for instance, I'm looking for saddle cloths. I'm looking for boot protection. I'm looking for, I know they've got some dog things on there as well. So I wanted to check out some stuff for my dogs. Um, and I wanna just get some more accessories as well. And overall, I just wanna have a good look at what they stock and maybe what I'm lacking in my own uh, inventory as well, because with show jumping, it's not something I really do often. Um, I do have to say, I already got uh, two new things. That's the only things I got so far. And one of them is um, a jumping bridle. And the other one is a five point breastplate. And that all matches the kind of brown saddle I have already. So that was from Kingsley. Um, so for the rest, we have nothing. This poor horse. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, 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 of course, I've got some stuff, but it never hurts to have more, does it? So without further ado, let's just jump and get into the video. Okay, we're on the home page. We've changed the layout of the display. You guys are now seeing what I'm seeing on the computer. Um, the website will turn to English and other languages, I believe in two weeks, but I didn't want to wait that long. So I, um, I think what I'm going to do is I know, for instance, some things I want and from which brands I want them. So for instance, let's, let's just first address the boot situation because firstly, I love show jumping boots. I don't know what it is about them, but they always look so nice. And I personally think one of the best brands for specifically show jumping boots is Veritas. I think that's how you spell it. I, oh, I think that's how you say it. I'm about to spell it. Um, but let's have a look. What I know they stock their stuff because I already got some of those boots from them. <gasps> oh my God. Wait, there's also saddle cloths from them. Okay, so I'm just gonna have a look. Of course, like, I do have a tendency, I must admit, to like more expensive brands. I don't know why, but I feel like a lot of you guys can resonate with that. Um, but today we're just, what we like, we're gonna grab. We're just not thinking about the bank today. Um, so I'm thinking I do have all brown gear, but Chase is chestnut. So I was thinking of perhaps doing the boots in black, and these are just gonna be the training boots. I thought it would be nice to maybe have like the brown saddle on top of like a black saddle cloth and black boots and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm thinking is uh, I like these ones a lot. These boots are exactly what I'm looking for. So I think I'm gonna grab a pair of those in um, large and then I'm gonna go ahead and also grab the hind boots. I, I hope they have the matching ones. I think I just saw them before. Yeah, they do. Here they are. So we're just going to grab these ones now in large as well. So that'll be one set of boots that we'll grab. For anybody at home who's like, oh, I really like those boots, but they may be a little bit out of my budget. Have a look because each brand always has a more premium range and a little bit of like, you know, affordable range even though Veritas is quite expensive generally but you can always have a look and see and 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 think okay do I want to just you know spend a little bit less or do I want to save up to have that really uh luxurious product I like or that product that serves a better purpose but okay I'm happy with that then and then I'm thinking that black cloth is coming home with me the black one with the gold I don't know if you guys like that, but I think that with the black boots, the brown saddle on top, like it's a bit of contrast with a chestnut horse. I think that's gonna look really, really nice. So I'm definitely gonna grab, okay, I'm gonna grab one of those. And then I think I'm also gonna grab a brown one because 
Um, if I do feel like doing like an all brown look, I can. I actually already have the boots I bought now. I already, I already have them in brown as well, but it's Sereno's boots. I actually use jumping boots on my dress as horses. I, I find I like them better and the legs don't get as hot. And I think we're gonna get a gray one as well. That way we have all of the ones from this range. And with the show jumping uh, pads, they always get really, really sweaty. And honestly, I don't have many. I think I only have two or three of these at home right now. So it would be nice to have a few extra. So we've got three cloths now, and we've got a set of boots. So I'm pretty happy about that. And as you guys know, no set is complete without the bonnet. I mean, if I'm going to a competition, which I will be, but like, not now, but if I do, then we need the bonnet. Oh my God, they don't have the bonnet large. They, <laughs> they don't have the bonnet in large. What are we gonna do? Okay, we're just gonna have to not get the bonnet right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna wait. And when it's back in stock, I'm gonna get the bonnet in large. I definitely need large for Chase's ears because they're not small. Maybe I was also thinking because you know how I've told you guys how Chase, yeah, this is what I'm thinking. Because Chase has quite small feet right now, they're breaking really quick. Um, I want to get some bell boots and I think I'm going to get them in black and extra large. I think that's going to be what I want to do. So I'm going to add that to the card. Do we know a total yet? Oh my god, I bought three saddle cloths, a pair of boots, and bell boots, and it's 620 euro. This is what I mean. This is not a need, this is a want. This is, you can get all of this stuff much cheaper if you look towards other brands. And the quality might be different, the look might be different. They should serve a similar purpose. I mean, all boots tend to have a very similar way of protecting a horse's legs. So don't get discouraged if you don't have a big budget or um, more money to spend on these things, um, there's always cheaper alternatives that you can go to. And definitely for everyday stuff, I do use things that are more affordable, things that I don't mind that if, if they get worn in or ruined, that's not a problem. But I think that's all we need from this brand. And then another brand that I've really been into and I don't have a lot of stuff from is Kentucky. So I'm gonna have a look. I'm going to have a look at what products from them they have that maybe could um, be good for this kind of show jumping adventure we're going on. Um, I already have the halters. <gasps> oh, the rugs. Oh, no, I, I have the rug. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so stupid. I have the rug, too. Oh, my God, look, these little, like, horse toys. I didn't even know they did that. Okay, I think I would like... I want to try a Kentucky... Um, Jumping cloth. I have to say one thing about Kentucky is that the um, the cloth, at least the one I have, the dressage one, sits a little bit odd on Sereno. Like it, it looks a bit tipped. I don't know how to describe that. Um, I love it, but I need to try it on uh, Emporio and see if it also has that effect on him. But uh, Sereno's got more of an up. Uh, well, he's more, he's built a little bit downhill just in the body, but the neck kind of makes up for it. Um, so I need to see if that's just something that's happening on him or if it's something that um, is happening also on Emporio. But, oh, ooh, look at these Kentucky. Oh my God, look at these Kentucky horse nets. Horse. <laughs> look at these Kentucky fly nets, fly bales. What are they called? Bonnets. That's what I always say, bonnets. Okay, I'm. I have to. I. I have to just focus here because I'm seeing a lot of things. But oh my god, wait! But they have dog stuff. Oh, they have so much nice stuff. Although I do think that the Veritas boots are nicer. At least the ones without the sheepskin, because um, the ones the Kentucky ones with sheepskins are very nice. Um, let me have a look. Because I'm not seeing the cloths yet. Oh, wait. Okay, one second. I'm, I think I'm going to have to get some dog gear from them. Because look at this. <laughs> look at this fake fur dog jacket. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh my god. Maisie and Penny would look so cute in this. Oh no. But they also don't really like wearing coats. And I also don't like them that much in coats. I mean, when they were puppies, they had to wear them. Because they have such a thin coat. And here in the Netherlands, when it's winter and it's minus five, it's... It was too cold for them as puppies, but they, oh, they have dog beds. That's one thing that I get so obsessed with. 
that's one thing that I can get so obsessed with is buying dog toys, dog beds, all dog things. But I'm, I've stumbled upon the cloths here okay that's a dressage one here these are the jumping ones but i'm feeling more black maybe because why not why not black? oh this one oh this is what i need clear logo clean lines let me see the photo oh yes oh yes 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 okay i think we're gonna get this one and that one will be the only one I get from Kentucky for now because I want to see the shape first and how that actually goes on Emporio. <laughs> I want to see the shape first and I want to see how that sits on uh, Chase before I purchase 10, which I wouldn't do. Um, okay, I do want to maybe like, maybe two little dog collars would be nice from Kentucky. I think it would be nice to experiment the dog range. I'm seeing a lot of nice ones here. But I did see them. Oh, wait, there's so many more cloths. <gasps> oh, look at these ones. They're also cool. That one's also nicely all black with a leather. That's also nice. Let me have a look if I can find. What? What? Kentucky does glasses? Mm. I didn't know that. Okay, I want to check if I can find those nice dog. Oh, <gasps> wait. Is that a dog ball? Is that a dog ball like that? I've never seen that. Oh, they have more. Oh, they have marble ones. Oh my God, should I get Should I get a marble one? Should I get a marble dog ball? Oh, this is, okay, I'm not kidding you. This is very similar. I'm just loading it up now. This is a very similar color to the kitchen countertop that we are ordering. It's called um, Bianca Carrara Marble. And this is looking very similar to me to that. So it's gonna match. Oh, it looks really nice. But how much does it cost? Okay, 60 euro for a dog bowl. That's ex that's excessive. Even for me, I'm not gonna do that, sorry. That's, they already have dog drinking bowls, so they don't need a 60 euro one. Um, but I do want a collar. I don't know why I'm not seeing them because there's all of the ones that I'm, it's like this triangular check pattern that I saw advertised already and I was like, oh, that would look so nice on my dogs. Okay, I found it, this is it. This is the one I was talking about. Look how nice this kind of pattern looks. And I feel like it's very like, like British. <laughs> I don't know why I'm such a British thing. Um, okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna get an, a medium and I'm, and I'm gonna get two that should fit both of them. They're kind of the same size when it comes to colors. And I think when they're matching, that'll be nice. Even though I would like maybe a variant, like one, like in this pattern and style, but I think they only have one color from what I can see. So I'm just gonna get two of those. And then I think the last thing I would like to get for now, because I want to test a few things out first before I really go for it. I've always wanted to try an Acavallo pad. I've felt them before. I've had friends that have bought them. They say they're really good. And I think for jumping, especially right now, while Chase doesn't have a huge amount of top line, it could be good to just have a bit of like absorption, like impact absorption. So let's have a look. Oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. Ooh. Straight away, my eye is drawn to the most expensive one. I have no idea how that works, but I quite like this one, but I feel like I don't want to have um, this like line of beige sticking out because I think it'll come out of the saddle. And if you're, I don't know, it'll just be an odd color, I think. So I think maybe the black one will be nicer. Oh, yes. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, but I, I like the variant that is just simple. Yeah, I want just a simple one and I want this kind of sheepskin color because I think that'll look nicest also with the, with the colors we're going for for the saddle cloth. It's quite a hefty price, I must say, but let's consider an investment into my riding career. <laughs> okay, I, let me see how much we're at. almost a thousand euro. Okay, I'm gonna have to call it here because I don't think I wanna break into a thousand euro on a few saddle cloths and some boots and a two bloody dog collars. Oh my God, that went up so quick. Why does it do that? Right, here's what's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna go with these things I just picked. Um, it's only one horse, so it's definitely more than enough with everything I've already got. 
We're gonna test them out. We're gonna see what we like. We're gonna see what we don't like. Um, and I'm gonna have enough time to kind of review them, I think, by the time I give the next update or the update after that. Um, and then I can let you guys know what I've liked, what I've not liked. Uh, but you've kind of understood a little bit my thought process through these purchases. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it all goes now once I actually receive the goods. And sometimes, you know, it's kind of like that meme where it's like, like what it looks like online versus when you get it at home. So I'm curious to see if these things actually are as nice as they look online. Um, but the good thing about Cavalier is they ship worldwide and they always carry a lot of stock out of everything. So if any of you guys are interested, do check them out. And um, they have really reasonable prices. They always have sales going on and different things to, to get discounts and stuff like that. So um, it's definitely a great place to shop no matter where you live in the world. All right, awesome. Well, I'm gonna go and uh, order these offline so no one gets my credit card details. Um, but I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna be coming, I actually have a re few really fun videos coming up, especially uh, this week. I'm shooting, I think actually in three days, I'm shooting something really exciting with another horse in Emporio. Um, so that'll be coming out very soon. Um, and then the next update I think will be in a week or a week and a half's time where I'm gonna be showing you guys where Chase is at. He's actually been doing so good, I'm so proud of him. Uh, and I've had so much fun riding and jumping and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for those updates. Everything will come before the end of August. Sign off in the comments below because I wanna know which products you guys are excited to see. If you want me to like go into detail reviewing any of them in the next update, cause I can very quickly do that. So if there's anything you're interested in, or even if you just want me to put some stuff on my stories when I get it, let me know because I'm definitely gonna be looking through the comments and hearing you guys out. All right guys, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.